Good morning, everybody. I'm Clockinator, and today I'm going to be playing some more King Arthur's Gold. Of course, by playing, I do mean commentating in the StarCraft Husky sort of manner. Uh, I was recently given VIP status on the Black Death servers, so that means basically that if the server is full, I can get on there still. Very nice of them. I'm probably going to be commentating on one of those matches, so let's see. Black Death, does it have a bunch of people? It sure does. Well, let's check and see if I can get on. This will be very interesting. Oh, the server's full, huh? It didn't add me for some reason. Well, that sucks. Bayo's CTF server, come on, man. Alright, looks like we're going to get on Bayo's CTF server instead. Alright, looks like there is a match already in progress. All sorts of interesting stuff going on. Oh, whoop, better change my team to spectator. I always forget to do that. Alright, let's take a look at each base, see which one looks more interesting. First off, we got over here, we got the blue base. Let's see, they got a night shop right here, it's protected by wood. Uh, let's see, we got a tunnel going on right here. So basically, a knight has two options when they come out. They can hop from right here right up to the tunnel and immediately charge into battle, or drop down into here and then pop back up to go into the tunnel. Very smart. In fact, where is their tunnel located? Right here, it would seem. Got anything interesting going on over here on this side? We got a tunnel. It's not used. We also have this opened up shop. They need to put some doors right here. If an enemy bomb jumps over, he can climb right in and just get access. Drop a keg, just block the way off, and detonate and destroy the entire thing. That would not be very good. You can see they've got a blue guy over here in the base already. I don't know who it is. Oh, it looks like, uh, if you look at the top right, Kin Pump. Kin Pump was the one who was just killed. Really wish they'd fix that glitch, so that way I could uh, see people's names when I hover over them. Anything else that's interesting going on? If I were blue right now, I would put a door right here, and then make some chickens, because chickens are always useful to have. You can never have too many chickens. And I know some people get like absolutely fanatical when it comes to their chickens, but I'm not like that. This tower, I do believe, is built at the height limit of the map. That's why you can see this black block. Black block. Black. Whatever. Fucking shitload of archers right over here. Way too many archers. We need some more knights. There's only like two or three knights on the blue side. However, blue is doing very well for themselves. Oh, that idiot. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it, blue. Good job. Nope. Nope. Don't put the fucking ballista in there. Okay. Someone get that ballista right there. Come on. Pick it up, guys. Blue. Don't let that fucking ballista go to waste. I really think that's a ballista. I'm not actually certain. I, it's either a ballista or it's a catapult. Ooh, look at this builder guy. Here, we've got some fucking smart builder on the blue team. See that? He blocked off the door. That way, if Red tries to come through the door, they can't just get right through. They have to climb all the way over. Oh, Red's gonna get their uh, catapult back. Why would you try breaking it? Are you a noob? Don't fucking break it. You just take it back and walk it back to your base. Oh shit, we got a blue guy over here. I didn't even see this. This blue guy is inside the red base. He's owning some fucking base. Han Yu Perudi. Yes, drop the keg. And he got a mine too, so... Boosh! Blow up that guy. Got rid of that shop. All those shops are very easy to replace. Wait, they would be easy, but I don't see any trees inside of... Red base. There are no trees. There's a tree right here. There is some wood right here on the ground, so there might be a tree sapling, but without any trees, though, they can't get wood very quickly. I'm not saying any stone inside their base, either. Basically, they can't reinforce their base except with the uh, unlimited supplies that, that appear over here, but you have to wait 30 seconds each time to get 100 wood and 30 stones, so not a very good, uh, not a very good backup plan. They really could use another tree. If I were red, I would come out here immediately and try stealing this tree. Just break it down, grab the seed, and bring it back in base and plant it somewhere. They also need a saw, too. That way they get way more wood. Meanwhile, how's Blue doing over here on production? They've got two trees inside their base. Much better odds. They also have a big fat stack of wood just sitting right here. So, builder guy, be smart. Come over here and grab this. He doesn't look like he's in the mood to grab it. They also have a really good thick stone sitting right outside their base. And they got some stone over here by the tunnel. That's some good for them. If uh, blue is smart, they might be able to also get some uh, gold that's sitting right here. Gold is always good to pick up, because you can use that to build catapults, get some bomb bolts. I'm tempted to join in right now and see if they have bomb bolts, but 
I won't. Someone then got taken over. What happened? Red team's flag has been picked up. Who has the flag? Oh, this guy's got the flag. Very good work, Builder. As you can see, the Builder broke into their base. Dropped some uh, blue doors right there, too, so that way he can get back in. Some fucking genius Builder. What's his name? Momo-san. Momo-san. Very good work, Momo-san. I very much appreciate you. Why are you giving him the middle finger? Why are you so mad? Don't be a little fucking shit turd, man. Uh-oh. Here comes a red Builder coming along. He's probably going to start breaking through their base. He's kind of acting like an amateur right now. Don't just... Come on. Break through it. Good. Cut through it. Come on, red guy. That, that knight's probably going to fuck you up. Where are you going, knight? They're right there. Break through the fucking door. Okay, well, I guess that's one good way. He's not going around to attack them. He's just charging on. Thank God we've got this guy, Wilhelm, or is that blocks 863. It's hard to tell. We got Blue Builder underneath the red base. Very good maneuvering he's got going on here. Place some doors down. Come on, blue guy. I believe in you. I believe in your raw, unadulterated power. Yes. Break through. Place doors. If you don't place doors, then red can just walk right through here, too. It's very important to place doors. That way you guys have easy access. Oh, he's underneath them. I see what he's doing. He's going to tunnel all the way until he's underneath this. I wonder if Red knows that he's under there. I don't see anything in the chat about them, but they could be team chatting about it. Oh, now Red has seen him. Place doors. Put some fucking doors. No, not a block, you dumb shit. Just keep digging to the right, though. If you keep digging to the right, you'll win eventually. Red builders don't seem to have noticed him. Him and the blue guy are digging up through here very quickly. Meanwhile, these guys are just fucking stab spamming. Completely worthless. Quit stab spamming. Use slashes. Yeah, I'd rather red one if they're gonna use slashes. I'm just really glad that the fucking builder guy over here isn't a complete idiot. Okay, they're breaking through. I think he's gonna get nabbed. I don't, I don't see this working out too well for him. Unless these night guys get underneath here. Good, good. Come on. Get some teamwork going on down here, guys. Or just keep laddering through. This works too. If he's gonna dig underneath, then this this thing might collapse. So, good techniques. Oh, they got two builders in here too, not just one. They're probably gonna collapse this whole thing. Good, and they got the blue knight guy over there. Now they can dig through and collapse the structure fairly easily as long as they got some reinforcement. Make sure to break it where there's back tile, right, right, right through here. This would be the perfect spot to break it. Well, you can see this guy. He's being smart too. He's putting down some back wall. It'll be very interesting to see how this works. Oh, man, the fucking... Good job, Knight. Very good job. Don't don't leave that open, otherwise Red Guy can get through there. Oh, that's Blue. I tend to think Blue's Knights are a little bit better on this match, so... Quit stab spamming. <laughs> now they're just laddering over. These builders are fucking tenacious as shit. Ah, but they're also dead as shit, too, so... Place a stone door. Oh, he put it. Put a stone block. That was also fairly smart. You can see he's trying to break the back wall right here. That way, this whole thing will collapse. Come on, keep breaking it. Keep breaking it, boy. Keep breaking it. You're at it. Yep, yep. Just keep breaking. Come on. I can see that these guys have purchased bomb bolts, which is very good. But they need to build a platform that's a little bit closer. If they could build a platform right here, they'd be able to wail on their base. Bomb bolts are nice because they're essentially bomb arrows, but they're cheaper. Red, what do you got going on over here? Popped off a catapult. They're going to try launching bolts over here to attack blues. Come on, man. Break it down. Break it down. I'm watching you, bro. 10 out of 10 builder. Eh, this guy's not that good. I mean, I could have easily had this thing collapsed. Oh, there you go. Finally. It even broke their stupid worthless catapult. Actually, no, wait, that thing's still useful because they got some stones sitting right here. If they grab that stone, grab grab the fucking stone. It's right there, dude. <sighs> Never mind. They grab stone, they can reload the catapult and use it. Maybe they can, from this point, they would actually launch straight over and hit all these guys in a straight row. That would be a very smart move, but unfortunately, red's slightly r -tarded. Is Fumi Danny going to do? Nope, Fumi Danny Mai's dead. 
There's someone on red team named Mole. I wonder who the Mole guy is, because Mole is a very good clan. Well, they're not very good, but I'd say that they're probably a 6 or a 7 out of 10. I enjoy watching them play, because Mole has some really good builders. Although I'm not seeing builders on red team doing very good, so I could be wrong. Come on, blue guy, get through here. Slash these guys, kill them to death. Yes, that's right, kill them to death. You blue builder, put some fucking stone blocks right here. That way this guy can't just break through. Or just put more wood. You know, I mean, hey, whatever uh, floats your fucking boat. Got anything interesting going on on this side? No. I wonder if blue's got anything, or red's got anything sneaky going on, sneaking under blue's base. But nope, they don't. This is pretty much going to be blue's win, I'm calling. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I just know blue's going to win at some point if they keep up this pace. Yes, they're catapulting blue guys over into the red base, so. Dude, why do you why do you go backwards? Just keep charging. That red knight's not gonna be able to do shit against this base. Oh wait, their ballista got destroyed and they launched a fire arrow. This fire arrow might light this. Yep, lit the whole thing on fire. No, just the top part. I thought it hit right here, but for some reason it landed right here and lit this on fire? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, man, Blue Knight's coming on here. He's gonna attack this fucking red guy. Come on, do it. Yes, Blue. Show me your power. Nano Bear got fucked up by blocks 863. There you go. Finally hit that, that thing. That's gonna collapse this and make it climbable. You better move out of the way. Come on, Builder Guy. Get up in there and repair this. Why would you... Wait, wait. Don't fucking just unpack that. Why would you leave that right where it's gonna collapse? You dumb idiot. You fucking dumb idiot. Fix it. Grab it. There you go. Uh oh shit, incoming keg that blew up, because that guy's an idiot. So many idiots on red team. I'm sorry, I just tend to call people idiots. <laughs> it was funny, you sniped that guy right in the face with a fire arrow. No wonder he died. I'd die too if someone hit me in the face with a fire arrow. These fucking tenacious red archers, though. I think the red archers are probably a red's best unit. And he got owned by another archer. Well, maybe not. Get that bomb arrow. Pick it up. Don't just let it go to waste. You should have picked up that fucking arrow and tossed it to your teammate. See, it's right there. Aw, oh, fuck. You dumb knight. You could have been into the flag. I'm pretty sure that was Wandermark that didn't grab that stupid Wandermark. Run back. Don't bring that ballista out yet. I do like the new update because you can, like... You can put a ballista down and then reinforce it, and then if the enemies take it over, it's it's immobilized and it can't rotate and turn against you. Ooh, is this going to burn this thing apart? Is it going to burn it? Nope. Landed right on the stone block. Completely worthless. Get this red archer. Get him. Get that guy, too. Get all of them. Just fucking boosh. Dude, that was like ten arrows that hit that guy. This Red Knight guy, AG Ultramarine, Ultramarine Val, doing a lot of good work. Also seems to know how to time his bomb throw, so I'm guessing he's not a completely incompetent knight, unlike the rest of Red. Oh man, that guy just got fucking owned. Mid-air shot, that is some impressive power. Meanwhile, this guy is launching his stupid bomb bolts and blowing up all of the stone underwater. Not a good idea. Ooh, if he can launch the bomb bolt right here, he'll flood this entire part, which would be very good for, uh, for Blue. I think that'd be good for Blue. I mean, I could be... Oh, this guy dug it out, so he just flooded it anyway. People just can't resist. They're like, ooh, if I dig this out, it'll flood. Which could be good or bad, depending on which team you're trying to root for. Oh yeah, if you hear any weird noises from my side, then uh, that's probably just because I'm drinking juice. So I apologize if my juice drinking is loud. This blue guy is over here inside the red base. I think he's going to own some face. Oh man, dude, he's fucking some face. Yes, get that bomb bolt. Launch that bomb bolt out to your archers. It's right there. Haha, <laughs> the archer died trying to get to it. Get that bomb bolt. Get it, it's just right there. Ah, whatever. They don't really have any archers nearby anyway. This red archer's probably trying to get to the bomb bolt. Oh wait, they got the flag? Oh, nice! Smooth as fuck. Oh man, detonated and killed that archer right there. Boosh! 
This guy is lobbing bombs like a fucking pro. Climb it, bitch. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, he was doing pretty good shielding. Oh, man, that guy launched right into the flag. That was fucking impressive. He died, too, but he just launched him straight into the flag. Come on, Blue. One more launch. Just launch a guy with the catapult. You'll get him right into the flag. These guys are dumb. They're not... Wait. Nope, nope. Shoot him. Come on, jump in the fucking catapult and launch him. There we go, we got a blue guy inside the base. It's that same dude that keeps owning fucking face in this match. Get through there. Yes! This is gonna be GG, my friends. It's gonna be GG. Boosh! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Ah, it's so close. Oh, they're right there. Oh, this is intense. Are you going to be able to make it? Oh, Red is holding on for dear life. Oh, nope, that's it. That's it. That was the loss for Red. They couldn't hold on to that flag long enough. If their builders had been smart and sealed that hole instead of just sitting around dicking off, Red could have won this. Boom, bitch. That was a nice match to watch. Thank you so much for giving me an exciting match like that. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Clocking in. I'm clocking out.